Hello guys, and we are very, very close to the USA elections. Yes, the USA elections will happen on the 5th of November. So we are less than a month away. We are right now on the 14th of October. If you're watching this later on, um, now you know. All right, um, and we've seen something very interesting happening, okay? Um, so today we're gonna be looking at what will happen if Trump wins the election, uh, with the US dollar, okay, so this is will be dedicated to US dollar, or what will happen if Kamala Harris uh, wins the elections, um, what would happen with the US dollar? Now, we have, um, um, you know, two options, Trump or Kamala Harris. Um, we are not, you know, trying to give it out, we prefer Trump or we prefer Kamala Harris. I'm just giving what will happen with the US dollar here. But before we start, please guys, thumbs up on this video, subscribe to the channel and send this content to your friends. Don't forget that tomorrow, Tuesday, we're gonna have the webinar from 5 to 6 p.m. So make sure to register yourself in the description of this um, video, you will find the link to registration. All right, let's get into it now. Okay, so first thing I did when I came into the office this morning was, um, I was actually very, very curious. Um, what is the chances of Kamala Harris winning the elections at the moment? And what is the chances of Trump winning the elections at the moment? And then I came up with uh, this. Now you probably can see the image. And you can see, all right, that at the moment, Trump is around 54%, okay? And Kamala Harris is with 45.5%, okay? So really, really interesting how, you know, if we look at, um, I have in front of me here, if we looked at um, from the February this year, we can see um, that Trump was winning the elections, right? And then later on, since July, we saw Kamala Harris just rushing through the top, um, and, it, and it's pretty much a 50-50 um, war here of who is, um, you know, taking the lead. Um, if we pay attention from August all the way to now, we have pretty much swapped one, two, three, four times between Kamala Harris being in front, Trump being in second, Kamala Harris being in front, um, Trump being second, and then Trump first, Kamala Harris second, and it gets like this. But feels like that now we've spread up more than usual, okay? Because in right at August, um, we've seen a big spread, um, but before in um, end of August and before September and um, end of September, we've seen some of, um, you know, spread wise difference, uh, but still now looks like that the Trump is ahead. Now, if Trump wins the election, what will happen with the US dollar? This is the big question that everyone wants to know and we're very close to the elections. Or what will happen if Kamala Harris wins the election with the US dollar? Well, there are some potential impact um, there are different potential impacts for the US dollar. Let's just start with um, the Trump, okay? I have some, some notes because I've, I've prepared um, a lot of things, um, but pretty much four things, um, four subjects that would boost the US dollar if Trump wins the election. So the first one would be a pro business policies um, because, you know, uh, when, um, when Trump was in power a few years ago, he was um, stimulating the domestic growth. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing is he was focusing on tax um, rate cuts, um, the regulation as well. So he was sort of leaving the door more open to people opening business. So this can, of course, um, economically wise, it can incentivize the growth. Um, and as well, he was a business friend policy, as I just mentioned. Second thing, second topic is focus on domestic manufacturing, you know. So uh, this, is, this comes to the word that American first, American first, American first. This is what Trump always has been saying on his speech and his rallies, okay. Um, you know, and the economic agenda strongly advocate for the reshoring of manufacturing jobs, um, aiming to reduce the US um, reliance on imports. Um, he wants to have everything in one place. So pretty much, let's say, you know, just, just taking consideration here, a um, 
subject a scenario here. He don't want to be building one thing in, um, in one company, another thing in another company, or basically one country, another country, and then importing this everything. So he don't want to pretty much be um, buying products from other um, countries. He wants to be able to have everything in one place. That is USA. So America first. Um, third is the geopolitical strategy, you know. Um, Trump's election has been very characterized by the robust um, stance on trade negotiations, often marked by the tariffs um, and the protectionism measures that he always takes. Okay, so this is very strong for economic growth as well. And fourth, but not last and not least, market stability perception. Um, financial markets tend to favor um, continuity and um, predictability of the Trump because he always has something um, to do as um, unexpected changes has always been occurring into the whole world. Trump has always something under his sleeves that he like, okay, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. So it's much less volatile having Trump on the on the power than you know any other um, candidate now so these are the options that could potentially happen with um, if Trump wins the election now Kamala Harris um, economic outlook is completely different from what Trump has been saying and I've wrote it down some of the the points here that I want to read to everyone so um, on the other hand a victory by Kamala Harris could lead to different economic priorities, which might have a very impact on the US dollar. As vice president under the Biden administration, that now Biden is off, Kamala Harris comes in to represent Biden. Um, Harris is associated with more progressive policies that emphasize social equity, environmental sustainability, and expanded government programs, such as the healthcare reform and the green energy initiatives. Um, while these policies may drive long-term economic benefits, in terms of addressing income inequality and fostering sustainability industries, um, they may not have the immediate pro-business appeal that typically um, drivers investors' confidence in the short term. So basically, um, what we can get from this is, if the Kamala Harris wins the election, she won't be as pro-business as Trump is, and an economy is moved by business, all right? In the whole sense of the economy, economy is moved by money, we all know that. Not only money, but money is one of the big takes. Therefore, we know that if Trump wins, then the US dollar will be stronger, will be expensive, right? Because more people will be looking to trade US dollar because there is more business. So in an essence, yes, if the US dollar, uh, sorry, if Trump wins the US election, US dollar will be stronger. If Kamala Harris won the elections, um, US dollar will be weak. And there is a lot of opportunities. So um, we can explore some of, the, of those opportunities tomorrow into the webinar, as well as the FMC from 7th of November next month, two days after the elections. Guys, I hope you like this content. If you have any questions, please put down in the comments. And again, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and um, please register yourself for tomorrow's webinar from 5 to 6 p.m. Thank you so much. Have a good week ahead. And I talk to you tomorrow on the webinar or in the next video. Bye-bye.